This video is brought to you by Power Performance Products, where you can get $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. We're blessed. We're a very blessed camp. We have a lot of talent, a lot of guys pushing each other, and, and it's just been a great ride. I mean, the, the way the sport is growing, the way the, the sport just keeps expanding worldwide, it's just been a fun, fun experience for me as a coach. And I mean, I, I love where we're at. I think, uh, I think, like you said, our team keeps growing, but I think we're might be having to shut the doors soon and not, you know, let too many people in just because it's getting crowded in here. Great. I think he's about six weeks post-op, uh, doing great. You know, the kid's mobile. He's walking around doing rehab and just taking it easy, taking his time, following the doctor's orders and his rehab uh, nurses and just getting back, getting back slowly. You know, there's no rush from us and we're expecting him to come back 100% in about six to seven months and hopefully be fighting shortly after. So obviously everybody's got tough fights. It's a UFC. There's no such thing as an easy fight. Uh, Phil DeFries, I think I met over six or seven months ago, did one camp with us and uh, he came back and did this camp with us. A friend of Ross Pearson's from England, he's a good kid, he loves to train and he's out here getting ready for Ali Thompson. Should be a good fight, both, both guys have similar styles, this should be a fan favorite fight. We got Phil Davis fighting on the, on the undercard, uh, he's fighting a new guy out of Brazil, kickboxer, seven knockouts out of eight fights, it's a pretty impressive record. Not a lot of uh, video on him, so this this fight we're looking at game plan behind behind uh, Phil's strengths, and we'll see where the fight goes from there. Obviously, it's going to be a about a minute or two minute learning curve in, inside the ring, and Phil's Phil's looking sharp. He's doing great. He's healthy. Expect big things, and it should be a good fight for him as well. And lastly, we have Brandon fighting Shogun. Brandon was a, originally supposed to fight James Tahuna a couple of weeks ago. He got swapped out that card and put him against Shogun. And uh, again, it's a great matchup. Stylistically for the fans, it's a great fight. Uh, Brandon just has to show up. When Brandon shows up on point, he'll do great. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the fight itself is a great opportunity. You know what I mean? Fighting somebody like Shogun that's ranked in the top five is a great fight for Brandon. Whether it leads to a title shot or whether it leads to bigger fights in the UFC, we take it all one day at a time. You know what I mean? One fight at a time. I loved it. I had a blast. I had a blast. It was. A, it was Different than all the other Ultimate Fighters in the sense that it was 13 weeks. It was a long time in Vegas for sure. It sucked being away from home so long, but the experience itself was fun. I had a blast. I mean, obviously, we, you know, wish would have Dominic would have got a, uh, the, the motorcycle out of it, but I met some great people. I got along with uh, Team Alpha Mill. Got to know them intimately, so it was good. It was a good time. I had a blast. Like I said, we lead a very blessed life being in the sport the way we are, and I take every moment and enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I talk to Ross actually every day. Every day we text back and forth. He updates me on how uh, how his team's doing and how he's doing, and and it's it sounds like it's great, uh, evenly matched up fights. So it's going to be a great season. It's going to be a great season. I uh, looking back, I should have gone to Australia instead of Vegas, but it is what it is. I mean, those guys send me pictures of Australia, and that place is beautiful. I've been there once before, and I know those guys are having a blast. And I know Australia and UK fans are going to love that that season. Uh, Danny's a uh, a diamond in the rough. He's been with us for two years, maybe going on three years now. He's a good kid, and it's just hard to get him fights. He's got a good record. He's fought some real tough guys. He's been on the big shows before, and he's just looking to stay busy. So this, this fight opportunity came up, and we're expecting him to do great. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. That's what we're hoping. We're hoping he goes in there and does good in this tournament and lands him in a big show, whether it's UFC, Bellator, any of the big shows. Yeah. Uh, your rest looks great, man. That guy's, that guy's a beast. Talk about him. Uh, Eric's coming along, man. He's great. He's a, he's he's a talent for sure. He's one of the one of the basically uh, uh, better guys in our camp. You know, he brings around a well-rounded game. He's looking forward to fighting. Same thing with him. We just have a hard time getting these guys pro fights. Uh, since California brought this amateur stuff, it's just so hard to get these guys pro fights. I just thank my sponsors: Monster Energy, Bad Boy Brand, Triumph United, and uh, Toyo Tires. This video has been brought to you by ProBoxingSupplies.com where you can get 25% off your purchase now.